Look it up. Google. <laughs> we now got a fact check us. We got a guy that can do it for uh, us. <laughs> that's really funny. Uh, I'm gonna talk about a game. I'm talking about a game that I've been playing. Uh, well, uh, uh, okay, it's a game I played once, uh, Chronicles of Crime. Uh, this is a game my buddy Joe brought over one night when it was just us two for a game night, uh, which is really funny. We we had six this last week, and the time before that, it was just two of us, but it was great. Uh, I was always interested in Chronicles of Crime because of its app app usage. What's the word? App integration. There it is. Nailed app it. App integration. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and so in this game, you it is a classic whodunit. Uh, murder mystery where you are at the end of a session you are asked questions like who murdered who and and what was the reasoning and what was the murder weapon etc cetera, etc cetera. but the way this is all set up is is just fantastic and so the game is played with a bunch of cards and a a board that you place cards on uh and the there are a couple deck of cards one deck of cards represent people uh, and then, oh, thank you. It is the Chinese name for the Forbidden City in Beijing. Oh, you know what? I think I knew that. Why did I know that? Seven years in Tibet? Nope, that's not it. Anyway, <laughs> thanks, Derek. Uh, okay, so uh, in this one, okay, so a deck of cards that that represents suspects or people that that you go and talk to, and then there's there are big board, bigger boards that represent locations, and there's a central board that represents the the precinct, but it's not the precinct. What is it over in London? The what's like, paddy what's wagon. Like, no, like what's the paddy wagon? What's like the central location of? Oh man, I feel Town so Square. stupid. <laughs> uh, I feel so stupid right now. Anyway, it's the Bring equivalent. Of, it's anyway. Okay, so then there are also cards that 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 represent uh, different people at the precinct like your criminologist your forensic scientist and so forth so what you do is you start out with a scenario and the chief brings you in and talks to you about it and um square no not square anyway okay so it'll pop in my head at some point uh and so he gives you a situation and then he tells you to go to a location check it out now to travel to do anything in this game you're scanning a qr codes and each card each location has a specific code on it now there's also a smaller deck of cards that just have generic nouns on them uh because what you do is once you go to a location like the the murder scene you you uh the app switches to like a a vr mode and you could put in in goggles if you have them or just look at your phone and you're looking around a physical space looking for clues and you, and th- this game probably works best at two players because one person's in the vr and they they look around and they shout out things that they see they're like oh i see blood i see a car i see um a suitcase and and these generic nouns could be like oh there's you know one could be like bodily fluids or office equipment or something like that uh and so then you what you do is if you're in that location you pull those out and then you scan them for clues and if they are actually relevant to the the case it'll tell you that it's relevant and you put them in a spot in your precinct and then what you can do is you have all these clues in different locations and you're talking to people at the precinct or you're talking to people at other locations about these items or they'll tell you about other people to places to travel to and you end up going to about five or six different places the whole thing's trying to be done in a certain amount of time each action you do takes a certain amount of time like 10 game minutes or something like that and so at the end after you think you've exhausted things and you know motive and things like that you go back to the precinct and you tell the chief you think you can solve it and they ask you questions and you see how good you do now this is on that borderline of like board game or activity uh, either way, it's a, it's a, an awesome way to just kind of sit around a table and figure things out and kind of solve the puzzle. I'd honestly put this in the same collection as like the escape games like Exit or mm-hmm. Deckscape or the other ones that are also great. Uh, Unlock. Unlock. Yeah. yeah, Unlock. Uh, I kind of get that same feeling from that because it's. I think it's just super clever how they have these physical – things like the cards and the board but the app just kind of brings it all alive the yeah. illustration is amazing this is published by lucky duck games and designed by david cicero 
or something like that. Sorry, David. Uh, but it's it's just a great way to just kind of figure things out and have fun. I don't know I'd, if I'd ever play this with more than two people, though. And so mm. we played it with an iPad where it was big enough for us to kind of read and we could hand that back and forth and scan things. But, like, with 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 uh, with more than two, I just don't think it would be worth it. I think it would be too hard to, like, talk about and, and hand things around, right? Because you're only looking at the 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 thing for a few seconds anyway it's a great game uh do you have any experience with this game at all i don't i i had the opportunity to buy it i think uh i've yeah. traded in a bunch of games earlier last month and i have a boatload of credit so it's easy for me to be able to tell my guy i'm like yeah guy give me the game he'd be like yeah sure you got like 500 million dollars <laughs> in the store credit after i sold like a fourth of my collection alas um this okay i have no direct relation with this game okay in particular but i have uh experience with detective okay oh. you know what detective is no but i'm very interested in that That'd okay be an interesting comparison yeah so very quickly detective um is a board game by ignacy treswick from portal games and in that game you have a laptop and you have this online database and what you're doing is is you're having to read through a series of cards that are given to you in this deck the scenario and what you're trying to accomplish and you are going through this online database and typing up keywords and hoping that you can find things that will allow you to unlock other pieces of this puzzle and at the end you kind of take this like multiple choice question like test to be able Mm -hmm. to see how well you did here's the problem though uh with detective is that i played this with Brittany, and we both felt like idiots we got a (laughs) really we failed we had no idea who stole what like it was really bad so we had like at that point we were like well if we're gonna play this again we gotta like completely redo it um and it's intense and what i think i like to hear what i liked about you talking about chronicles of crime is it seemed a little bit more easygoing it seemed a lot more fun yes um while detective takes i think itself extremely seriously which i think is completely fine it just for my wife and i it was not something that we found ourselves at the end of our first mission being like oh man we failed i we didn't even feel like we should have actually gone on to the second episode because we Mm. felt because it's all kind of an interconnective story so if we didn't even know what the heck happened in the first (laughs) chapter why even decide to go to the second one that's true that's funny um so that's really cool to hear about um chronicles i'm yeah really want to give it a shot yeah it's light it's yeah like you said it's more cartoony uh it's something i'd probably play with like my seven-year-old uh the first training one like the murder scene i guess there is like dead guy laying on the floor <laughs> playing with but your seven-year-old i think he'd be okay with that i need to i need to introduce him to death at some point i mean we don't do pets uh so i just need to make him know that life is fragile and i think that's what this, this game teaches there's a much deeper level oh here <laughs> pet uh, rock man yeah man yeah man. pet I rock hard yeah pet rock no those anyway uh <laughs> chronicles of crime by lucky duck games